In this video I'm going to teach you how to create cinematic titles in Premiere Pro. To get started, I'm just going to right click in the project panel and then go to new item, black video. Then drag the black video onto the timeline and extend the video to around 7 seconds. Next, click the text tool and type out the text you want. Now I'm just going to drag the text clip's duration so that it matches my black video. Make sure your text is selected and go over to effect controls. Choose the font you want to use. Next, set the font size to 90. Then change the tracking setting to 300 to create some spacing between the letters. To center the text, go over Essential Graphics, and select Edit and then click these two alignment buttons to center your text horizontally and vertically. Position your time marker at the start of your text clip and go to the effect controls. Open up the opacity setting and click on the stopwatch. Then change the opacity to zero. Move your time marker to 2 seconds and change the opacity to 100 to create another keyframe. Now move to the 4th second and click the circle to create another keyframe. Move it to the 6th second and change the opacity to 0 to create the last keyframe. Now we have a fade effect but let's make it smoother. Drag to select all your keyframes, and then right-click one of them and select Auto Bezier. Now it looks smoother. Next let's go up to the motion settings. Reposition the time worker on the start of your text clip. Click the stopwatch next to scale to create a starting keyframe. Move to the last keyframe and increase it to 110. Now the text looks like it is growing. The last step is to go to the effects panel and search for Gaussian blur. Drag it onto your text layer. Make sure the text is selected and then go to the effect controls. Go to the start of the text clip. Under Gaussian blur click the stopwatch next to blurriness and change it to 50 to create a keyframe. Move to the 2 second mark and change the blurriness back to 0. Move to the 4th second and click the little circle to create another keyframe at zero blurriness. Move to the 6th second and change the blurriness back to 50. Now when I play this back, I have a nice looking cinematic effect. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.